Hi, how are you? It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in the Season of Discovery. Today, we will be venturing into Black Fathom Deeps once again. Hopefully, we can get some more loot. Last week, we got quite a bit of loot. We got the Twilight Invoker robes with the Twilight Invoker shoes, which completes a two-set that increases damage and healing done by magical spells and effects by up to nine. We also got Gamora's Cinch. Nice belt, dead light wand, and a book, a spell book that we can't use yet because we don't have a one-hander called Tome of Shadow Warding. So we got quite a bit of loot. I also got our reputation with the Warsong Outriders up to Honored, which means we were able to get a neck piece finally. This is our first neck piece scouts medallion. Six agility, two stamina, so we'll get a little bit of armor, armor and health from that. And we, I also bought the Advisor's Ring, which gives us two stamina and increases our damage and healing done by magical spells and effects by up to five. And it also restores two mana per five seconds. So we got quite a bit of upgrades since the last time we uh, entered this raid. So I'm interested to see how we do. I also changed our spec as well. We are still playing as a Destruction Warlock. We still have... Five points into Cataclysm, five points into Bane. But we are focusing on our Imp this time. We took two points into Improved Firebolt, which reduces the casting time of your Imp's Firebolt spell by one second. And we also got three points into Improved Imp, which increases the effect of your Imp's Firebolt, Fire Shield, and Blood Pack by 30%. So our Imp's going to be doing quite a bit of damage this raid. We won't be using a Succubus at all. And we lost 4% critical strike chance with destruction spells. So we'll see what's better, guys. I'm interested to test that out. So let's hop in to Black Fathom Deeps. Here we are, guys, in Black Fathom Deeps once again. Let's play in some trash. We are all buffed up and ready to go. Hopefully we have a clean run. And hopefully I do not inch a pull this time. I have uh, defensive and passive on my mouse scroll now, so you can quickly tell our pet to stop attacking if he starts attacking. And the imp attacks pretty damn quick. We have unending breath, so we don't have to worry too much about drowning with this boss. Probably try to get some more shards while we're farming up here. Got a decent amount, though. I got more than 12. Should be good. go again. Oh, here we go again. Didn't really get to uh, put Parsa Rack on him. And if we get the debuff, we need to jump off. to jump here. Our imp can't really DPS here, which is kind of crappy. Get him down! This boss is getting wrecked. Oh, GG. Let's see what dropped. Flowing Scarf, guys. It's a pretty good back piece for us. Oh! 
You didn't get knocked off, though. And hand wraps of the defouled water. Wow. Cool, uh, cool cloth hands for a shadow spec. Both, uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I jumped off. I <laughs> can't believe I fell off there. I think they pulled there so we can just run up this way. Let's see if I can run this way. No, it looks like I can't. Can you jump up here? Nice, we got the gloves. Thank you. Took us a while to get up there, but we did it. What, the back piece? I'll take the back piece. Nobody wants. Oh, my bad. Yep. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so we got some new gloves for shadow damage. Increases damage. Alright, so we got a new back piece, guys. Six intellect, six spirit. A little bit more armor, too. We lose a bit of stam, which kind of sucks. But more intellect is pretty damn good. And these gloves are awesome for PvP, I think. Yeah, they're amazing for PvP. Because we usually play Shadow for Affliction for PvP, so we do a lot of Shadow damage. These will be great for that. So we got the first two pieces in the raid. Guys, we're getting pretty damn lucky here. I think we'll keep our back piece on, though, just to play it safe, I guess. This is a really fun boss for us. We pump. And we should pump even harder this week. Because our imp is, uh, is buffed. Like, quite a bit. Our imp also benefits from all of the, the fire debuffs we put on the boss. So our imp is going to be doing, like, 65% more damage as well. Alright, so let's get that on him. And then we'll cast this. Pump him. Let's get Curse of Rack on him. Hopefully our imp doesn't die, man. He's in a kind of a crappy position. Alright, pump. Don't let me die, man. Am I getting a oh oh I had threat there. My bad. Should be good here. So I was getting clapped by the boss there for a second. So if there's a little bit of a threat drop there. It's good to know. Should be good. It should be like at, at max range though. Execute, guys. Get him down before he bubbles up. Nice, he got wrecked. Mantle of the Thresher Slayer dropped. Leather shoulders. And bindings of Seracus. Leather wrists. Yeah, we almost died there, guys. That was... Pretty scary. Next time we're going to make sure we're, we're a little further back. But uh, maybe it was a good thing that we weren't because that allowed the tank, tank to, like, I guess, talk quick and get his threat up. But we were taking some hits. We need to get another health stone up here. Who should I give soul stone to? Up to 
That's right. Give a healer a soul stone here. Give it to the priest. There we go. I noticed our imp was like not shooting there for a little bit. He was just like talking smack to us like this. Like, just release me already. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing that they do. But I noticed that a bit. There we go. He's attacking now. I have a macro setup whenever we press a button. Tells our or to our attack ability, it tells our imp for our pet to attack, so should have been attacking the whole time there. Let's get some mana up. This boss is kinda chill. The Murloc boss I'm kinda scared of. We almost died to him last time. Let's blow her up. Alright, here we go. Blow her up. See how fast the imp's like casting firebolts? He's, he's a machine gun. Like, it's awesome. Execute phase, all the melee is going to pop here. Oh, Pretty good there. Rackamar's tattered thinking cap dropped again. Two weeks in a row. Or two raids in a row. Hope we get it this time. It's going to be a tough roll, but see what happens. Do the roll. 46. Omni. Grats, dude. Omni got the, got the helm. I want that helm so bad, man. All right, so it's going to be the Murloc, guys. And the shoulders that dropped were... Uh, Oh yeah, band of uh, the ring drop, band of the D places. Six strength, six stam, ring. Pretty nice PVP. The imp was pumping though, man. He was shooting fire bolts there. Try to get some more shards while we wait. few shoal shards there. Lorga's jet, I got wrecked. Um, we didn't die, but we got hit by a lot of stuff. So we'll try to work on that one a bit. I think just gets wrecked.
If you guys are wondering why I have a square on me, it's because I was summoning earlier. <laughs> I wanted to make sure everybody knew where uh, where the summoner was so people would click on the portal. Interesting fight. See what happens. I almost, I almost died. I don't know. We're getting hit by a few Murlocs on the second wave of them. Uh, we'll see if we can do better this time. There he is right there. And I think it like intellect like stacking in is a little overrated unless you're doing like speed runs and you're going into fights without full mana, right? Like, we're gonna go in with full mana. We need to get a food buff going here. Go, got a food buff quick. There we go, we're good. Just going in. Gonna burn this boss. I gotta move out of that. Should be alright. First a rack up on him. Alright, March of Murlocs. Don't get hit. Dude, why is there all these missiles going on? Pretty good here for a bit. Guess we can put some more dots up on them. There we go. Or cast on him again. Come on, Imp, start casting. Oh. Almost got hit there. There we go, March of Murlocs once again. Just don't get hit. We can go here. Go this way. There's a lot of Murlocs around here. Gotta watch out, dude. I'm getting hit by uh, quite a bit. Let's go over here. There we go. Should be good. It's a little rough. I always get hit during that second phase. You start attacking. Why isn't he attacking? <laughs> it was just hanging out for the second round. Second, we got we got these Twilight Invoker robes. They dropped again, and pretty cool staff. Looks like it's a staff for druids, though. The Wrathful Spire increases damage done by nature spells and effects by up to seventeen. Increases healing done and spells and effects by up to twenty-six. It's a nice staff. We don't have a druid here, so 
I would take it. It does more damage. It's better than the one I got. What about the the healing? Oh, healing done. Oh, my bad. Never mind. Never want it. Just give it to a druid. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I thought it said healing and damage. Yeah, I don't. Give it to a druid. I honestly thought it said it does damage. It's... Oh, here comes Lorgus. Oh, this jet boss, guys. I thought it said damage on the staff. We need a weapon, man. But our weapon drops off of uh, the second last boss. I forgot his name, Kelris. That's Wind Fury Totem. Attack totem. Get the totem down. Yeah, do damage. We should blow up these totems. There's the totem there. Attack There's totem. a totem. Yeah, we should have been doing more damage on the boss there, maybe. Lightning shield's coming, so I gotta wait. Attack totem. Kill the totem. There, we can get him down. GG. Hammer of Righteous Judgment dropped. And Twilight Slayer's foot pads. Those are cool boots. See those boots again? I want to see what the set piece is. If you get two sets, it's 12 attack power, and three set, you get a chance to hit with spells and with melee and range attacks increased by one. That's pretty one percent. It's pretty good. Pretty much the same as our reset, but it's just for you know attack power users or just physical DPS. Get another health stone. Yeah, 
Yeah, Calrus could be a tough fight. Hopefully the the weapon drops, guys. Be awesome to get a, a good weapon. Her pet died. We gotta summon amp again. Got uh, five minutes on our blast here. I think six minutes on our man. On our black pad, the man oil. Zamp, it's like a machine gun, man. He's just boom, boom. Kind of like this spec. It's just sometimes I notice the imp not shooting, and that's kind of a big deal. Since we put so many talent points into him. It's a big AOE pull here. I, I need to make sure I don't ninja, ninja pull here. DM. Won't have much time either. Let's wait for them to bring him here. Watch out. People get mind controlled here and we could blow them up. Here, we'll uh, use another flask here. And the man oil. I don't think we need to eat again. Four minutes should be more than enough. She maybe will have to eat. It's explaining the fight. Holy, we'll whatever. Yeah, should be good. This guy's got a cool hat. Is that the new the new hat he got? That's how the hat looks. It's such a warlock hat or a wizard hat, you know? I can't wait till we get that. I think that's the item I want to get 
the most, other than the weapon. Alright, we're going in. Okay, now we can cast. Pull him up. Curse a rack up. We gotta move. It's not dead. Can move. Dust, dust. Is he attacking? Yeah, Rim's barely attacking here. It's not good. Okay, now he's casting. I think Succubus would be better for this fight. Rim's barely attacking. Spread out here. All right, we'll get some casts here. We'll use a help, a mana pot here. Yeah, GG. Let's see what dropped. Oh, the neck. Jagged Bone Necklace. It's our best in slot neck. And the Tome of Shadow Warding. These guys put them up here. I should be good here. May just probably do so much. Look at the AOE the Shaman's doing. I got the book. Alright, here we go. Akumai. Alright, neck time. Hopefully we get it. 61. Will we get this neck, guys? I think we might get it. Nice, we got the neck. Big upgrade. So we got a neck, gloves, and a back piece. Next for sure, 100% better than the one we got. Two intellect, seven spirit, decreases damage and healing done by magical spells and effects by six. Also has 21 armor on it. this let's get closer to the boss a little bit breath incoming
Gim's pumping right now. And Gim's pretty good for this boss. We just stand and pump. Breath incoming. I think we're good on the breath here. I think me spamming, like telling him to attack, stutters his attack. Maybe I should stop that like with these abilities. So the macro gets him. He just doesn't. He doesn't stop talking, right? Use a mana. Breath incoming. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't use the macro with the M. Let's see what dropped. Oh, that dagger dropped. That dagger's pretty good. So I roll for the dagger. No one needs it. Getting lucky. <laughs> Getting lucky. Yeah, nice dagger. We'll be able to use that with the book we got. Thank you. Let's put this on, guys. With the book. And the crab shell waters dropped. Nice male boots right there. There we go, the pearl, the quest item. This gets us a trinket. Yep, we didn't get it. Got a 69 to 75 is the highest so far. And that's it, guys. We got some pretty good loot today. We got these gloves for PvP. We also got flowing scarf. Nice back piece. Probably use it. And we got, you know, these this dagger that's awesome. We're gonna have to get an enchant on that. And this neck. We're getting pretty damn geared in two raids, guys. So much glue. Hopefully we get the hat soon. And I have a few quests to turn in at the Zoram Strand, so I will see you guys there. All right, we are back at the Zoram Strand, guys. We had a pretty good rate, and I have a few quests to turn in here, so let's turn these quests in. Yeah. Baron Aquinas. See you later. Uh, hello again, Travisine. I was reading the waves of the sea, much like I always do. What brings you to the outpost? Later. This is quite the fine, Travisine. You acquired this from Baron Aquinas in Black Fathom, you say? Baron Aquinas has long been thought of as a corrupted elemental power. This globe will prove what exactly had corrupted him. While it would be no surprise if it turned out to be the Twilight's hammer, our stories will also show how they did it as well. You did well in bringing this to me. Please take this along with the Earthen Ring's warmest regards. All right, so we have another offhand here. It has more intellect on it, so we'll take it. Allegiance to the old gods. Very good. Thank you, Travisine. We may not have stopped the Twilight Hammers completely, but at least you have staved off another of their plans to return the old gods to power. Who knows what other plans they may they have manifesting, but we can rest easy for now. All right, so we get some shoulders here. Increases damage and healing done by magical spells and effects by up to five. That's pretty damn good. Even more damage. A little bit less intellect out. And then we have this four strength, seven energy ring. Well, we'll take the shoulders. Yeah, 
So there we go, guys. We got some new shoulders. I think they're those would be probably better to put on, so we'll put those on. And I kind of like this uh, soft hand because it has more intellect on it. I think this one would, would be better for PvP, though, because it has 40 armor and it's also shadow resist, which would help us survive. And I don't know if you guys noticed during the raid, but the imp kept on talking... Um, and he wouldn't cast sometimes. And I think that was because of the macros I'm using, which is uh, these ones. So the slash cast incinerate and then pet attack, start attack. And I was spamming that. So maybe next time we won't use these macros and I'll just try to control my pet with a button and just use it once. And, and hopefully, you know, he attacks a bit more. But that is going to be the end of today's raid, guys. We got quite a bit of loot, and hopefully we can get some more the next raid. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.